Honestly, this is more work than me doing it manually. Ah! I'm fine. How can I have completed it when it hasn't even happened yet? Let me edit it, but I can't edit it. Am I liking this? Is this good? I feel good because I'm like, I'm getting like things done earlier than I was expecting. All thanks to an AI calendar blocking thing. It's not asking me for any of that information. All of that information is in my brain. I know it. If it asked me, I would tell it, but it's not asking me. So the information just stays in my brain. Let's see what this AI reckons I should do. And then me, human Hannah, will decide whether or not I do it. But then again, like what is it doing for me if I'm just telling it everything? Anyway, it's fine. Ah, uh, it's fine. So I have been advertised this like AI task tracking calendar organizing tool a fair few times. It's called Motion and I want to give it a go to see if it's any better at organizing my week for me and calendar blocking my week than I am because I'm pretty good at it. And I'm also very controlling of my calendar and my to-do list. I'm really curious to see how it works, but I actually have quite low expectations. I feel like it's gonna present me with what I should do and in what order and what I should prioritize, what I should be doing when, and I'm just gonna be like, nah, you're wrong. So. <laughs> We shall see. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video, the all-in-one platform for creators, entrepreneurs, and freelancers to stand out and succeed online. First off, we need to sign up. We need to start a free trial. Also, the neckline of this jumper is really high, and so my microphone is like scratching my neck, tickling. <laughs> Right, okay, so this is what this week looks like for me. And I wanted to try it this week because there's a lot of kind of complicated moving parts. Because for instance, today I'm at the studio because I need to record some voiceovers. So I needed to be here with my microphone. Tomorrow I am out and about in London doing some filming and doing some co-working with some friends and colleagues. So the work needs to be appropriate for that kind of work setup. I think I'm only gonna take my iPad. So it has to be stuff that I can do on the iPad. Wednesday, we're back in the studio because I'm filming in the morning, but then in the afternoon, I have a photo shoot. So I need to like get to that and get back from it because then there's more work to be done in the afternoon. And then Thursday is also going to be an interesting one. I need to be able to work on my iPad, I think at the beginning of the day, because basically a friend is coming here to do some filming for her channel. And so I need to be at the studio to let her in and get her set up and everything. But then I just need to be on my iPad, like downstairs in the cafe working. That's what this week looks like to me. So there's like interesting things to see. <laughs> how this software, how this program, how this thing does. So this is how I've organized my week. And the thing is, is that it never actually goes like this. One of the reasons why I love calendar blocking in a digital calendar is just being able to be really flexible and move things around. I have also learned that I tend to overbook myself, even though calendar blocking is one of those things where it's like you only have so much time and so you can really visualize how much time you have so you don't overbook yourself, but just things taking longer than usual. Also there being like lots of bitty tasks, like small little things that need to get done and I never bother like planning them in my calendar because they're just like small here and there. And so then they actually end up like accumulating and taking up a fair bit of time. That's this week, that's my calendar. Let's have a look at motion. So motion increases productivity by 137%. I don't know if I want my productivity to be increased by that much. With automation and AI that intelligently plan your day, schedule meetings and build the perfect to-do list. Right, let's try it. Let's try this. Right, preparing motion. Here's the thing, like, is it going to sync to my Google calendars? All right, individual. Hey. Oh. Okay. Akshay here, head of customer love here at Motion. Through our artificial intelligence designed to maximize your happiness, Motion will automatically schedule your day based on your given priorities. Right, let's do it. I need to connect some calendars. I kind of don't know how useful this would be just using it with me, just because a lot of the tasks that I have to do, I can only do once I've received something from somebody, like an edited video or an edited podcast episode or something, because then I will like review it. And that's a big part of my task, or there's like a script that's come in that I need to look at. Select your work hours. Okay, good, yes, because my work 
homework hours are basically 9.30 till 4.30 every day. Okay, and then not Fridays. Delete Friday. Next. Next, recurring tasks. Use recurring tasks to create tasks that repeat periodically. So I already have this. Which, oh, I do have lunch. Let's add lunch. Meditate, check emails, exercise. I'm not gonna do personal things. Right, create recurring tasks. What are you working on this week? Why do I have to tell you? I gave you my get stuff done calendar or do I need to delete that calendar? Not give it access to that calendar because then it'll get confused. <laughs> the more tasks you, does it think of my calendar rents? as calendar events and not as tasks. Do we need to go back? Does this not work with somebody who already calendar blocks? Fine, right, we need to film motion. And that is today, right now. How long is that gonna take? It's gonna take me an hour, add. And then we need to review the money episode which came in that also needs to get done today and that's gonna take me like two hours. Add, what else needs to get done today? What was on my calendar? Okay, okay, okay. I think I need to remove this calendar. We remove get stuff done. There we go, that's better. I said the money episode was due today. Why have they scheduled it for in two days? What is happening? So now what? All right, task. One task scheduled after soft deadline. Mmm, soft deadline, resolve issues. Yeah, do earlier, do today. Okay, now what? Task updated successfully. No, it hasn't. Change deadline, scheduled. No, what, what did I just do? No, I don't wanna change the deadline. Start date, today. Deadline, today. Auto scheduled on the 25th. No, wrong, incorrect. Well, we all know who's better at scheduling my calendar. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I host all of my websites on Squarespace and I love it. It is so easy to use. They have this fluid engine feature, which is a website design system that just allows you to drag and drop all the different elements of your website that you want. They have gorgeous templates that are so easy to customize. All of the hard work is done for you. You just add your own branding and content. It allows anyone to get super creative with designing your own website, even me who knows pretty much nothing about website design. If if you're someone who has clients, people booking one-to-ones with you, workshops or group classes, then Squarespace can take care of all of that for you through their appointment system. It syncs with your calendar and people can book directly through your Squarespace website. You just send them a link and they schedule themselves in. If you're someone who sells things online, digital or physical products or services, then Squarespace also lets you have an online store. It can all be done through Squarespace. It's all integrated and super easy. I sell my sexy scribbles, digital coloring in books on my website and yeah, yeah, it is just super, super easy. So if you're ready to start creating your own website, then head to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And then when you are ready to launch it to the world, you can go to squarespace.com forward slash morehanna to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Now back to the calendar blocking. Right, do you know what? Let's put in everything for this week. Every single task on my to-do list this week. And then we shall compare. Because the thing is, is that this sexual swellness co-working, I'm gonna be working. We can add tasks on top of that. It's not blocked out time. Mm -hmm. And then also that morning I'm filming a reformation, like changing room, try on, whatever thing. <gasps> I'm fine. Let's add a task. We're going to record money VOs. That's only gonna take, what is this, like today, tomorrow? No, today, today, 30 minutes. Oh, we can give it a priority, hi. Okay, so this might help. So this one is like today, today, ASAP, because that's what we're currently doing. Let's do video feedback is gonna be, the deadline is tomorrow. Here's the thing, the deadline for it is tomorrow, but I don't have it yet. Oh, right, okay, so we set the start date for tomorrow. So, right, there we go. So now it's figured that out and it's moved that around. Thank you. Right, this is high priority and that's getting done today. This is medium priority because I've got flexibility this week on when this gets done. So I actually reckon the deadline for this one is the end of the week. Like realistically, I have it scheduled in to do Tuesday, but or whatever day I have it in, there is definitely flexibility on that. Oh, it's moved it around, moved it around. So the deadline for this one is the 26th. Gonna take me, oh, you can say do not split it into chunks, but then you can, 
I like that as a feature because sometimes it's like actually things get broken up with lunch and so y you do it in two chunks and that's fine or it gets broken up with a meeting. I, I wish I could do choose duration. Can I do like 1.5? Yes, one hour 30, thank you. Save task. What? I can't believe it's only given me half an hour for lunch. Rude, rude. I want an hour, at least an hour scheduled in and then, you know, I don't always take the full hour. Right, let's see what else we have on the list today. We need to prep the sex ed video, which yeah, realistically might only take me 30 minutes. So the deadline for that is Wednesday, because I'm filming it Wednesday, but I do ideally want to get it done today. Film a reformation try on. That's high priority because we're do definitely doing that and it is happening tomorrow, tomorrow and is I'm giving myself two hours. Mm, here's the thing, with Tuesday there's travel involved. So I obviously like, I can't, how do we add in like getting to and from things? So like I need to get the tube into London. Like I'm not starting that task at 9.30 because I need to travel there. Is there like a way to be like, I need gonna take me half an hour to get there? There is not. That would be a good feature. Fine, whatever, we'll just, we're moving on. Right, we've got some script reviews to do that are coming in Tuesday. And let's just give ourselves a day or whatever to do them and that's give ourselves an hour. Oh, it broke up Reformation Try On. Absolutely not. We cannot break this one up. Minimum chunk duration. No, do not split into chunks. Next. Right, we've got videos to film Wednesday morning. So we're gonna film sex ed video. That is a Wednesday job. Here's the thing, I've already decided this is a Wednesday job. Whereas if I gave it a deadline and I said it just needs to be done by this day. So actually let's, you know, let's turn off the start date. The start date is today. Maybe it'll be like, you need, ah, ooh, mm, in, okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell it that the deadline for this is Wednesday. Does that mean end of day Wednesday? Like, does that understand that to be, it needs to be done by Wednesday morning or it needs to be done by the end of Wednesday? I don't know. Anyway, so this film sex ed video, obviously I cannot do that until I have prepped the sex ed video. There's just like a few more bits in the script that I need to go through before filming that. Is there a way to connect tasks together to tell it this cannot get done until this thing gets done? What's this? Templates, recurring task. Whatever that is. Where are you putting it? Okay. Is that like a... Hmm. Interesting. Okay. We're filming expenses breakdown. And the deadline for that is also Wednesday. Also, I hate a calendar that starts on Sunday. Ooh, must be completed by deadline. Okay, if this toggle is on, Motion will prioritize this task and make sure it schedules before deadline. If needed, Motion may schedule it outside of work hours Ugh. or another selected schedule in order to meet deadline. Oh, so there are some things that must be completed by deadline. So this one, yes, the filming, because I've told my editor that obviously it needs to get done, that that's the day I'm gonna be doing it. Which other things are like, needs to get done by deadline? Um, This one, it's happening ASAP, so <laughs> this one's happening right now. This one, that's interesting because I cannot record the voiceovers until I've like done the review, the money review. Stop scheduling this for the wrong day because it must be completed by the deadline. Thank you. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Honestly, this is more work than me doing it manually at this point. <laughs> okay, what else? Script reviews, the video feedback. Oh, this absolutely needs to be done by the deadline because it's a sponsored video. And so we need time for Beth to do the edit on it. And then, mm, where is it gone? Okay, she's put that Wednesday morning. It's because I'm gonna do it here. I'm gonna do it when I'm co-working. I'm gonna do it that day. But it doesn't seem to think that I can also work. Like when Rowan is filming at the studio as well. Like, I'm going to be working then. I'm like, do I just delete these ones from, uh, oh, can I, can I, can I, can I? Oh, okay. So we just add travel time in the calendar bit, which you can do in Google Calendar. I just never bother. Right, does not repeat, add travel time. I, mm, I wanna add that I am, I'm free. Okay, we need to add travel time, 45 minutes. So we need to add travel time after, because I need to get back to pick up Rowan. Yeah, let's add it before, save. Oh, okay, yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. And then the Reformation try on. Okay, there's no way to add travel time to this because it's not a calendar event. So maybe I have to turn this into a calendar event instead of a task anyway. Right, this one though, we can edit this and make it free. Okay, we are getting somewhere. Okay, why is it put the, this travel time in here? What? <laughs> why would I be traveling to and from the thing in the middle of the thing? Make it make sense. Right, let's just continue adding the rest of the tasks for this week. We need to update Patreon addresses for sending out the special offer stickers. I think that might take me an hour. And that is going to be available for me to do from Wednesday. Sure, let's make the deadline Thursday. And it's not like it doesn't have to get done by the deadline. So no, but I don't want to be doing it in the morning. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Right. I need to edit doing it captions on some Instagram reels. And that is a Thursday thing. And that is going to take me an hour. And that does have a deadline. Like that must be done by the deadline. Let's make it high priority. Publishing video. This is a repeated task. Okay, so let's put this in. Publish video. Because this is something that I like to give myself half an hour for when videos go live. I need to give it a specific time. How do I give it a specific time? Not auto scheduled. Auto scheduled. Not auto. So in order to give something a, a specific time, I would have to make it a calendar thing, wouldn't I? Okay, this week is a mess. Look at this! It's a mess! Right. <laughs> First of all, we don't need to be seeing this because I'm not going. Oh dear. Right. This is insane. Like, why the 30 minutes travel time before and after, it's not done. It's just put in 15 minutes of travel time in the middle. This, this is not, not ideal. Also, apparently I'm going to be taking lunch at 11.15 today. <laughs> Ah, I'm fine. I don't know what more information I can give it to make it sort out this week. Because this is a mess. Okay, wait, hold on. This has travel time. It's going to take me half an hour before and after. Save. Okay. Uh, right, that's what I like to see. Why has it done it for this and then not for this? Is it because I've said I'm free? If I went back to saying that I'm busy, then it would do it. But because I'm free, it can't do travel time and being free at the same time. Fun. Okay, so in that case, let's remove the travel time and make it so it's free. See what that does. Okay, but I'm definitely not going to be able to film those things because I'm out. That's the thing. Like another great feature would be being able to tell it like where you're going to be like out of office, in office, like, you know, like work location and then being like, well, those tasks can only get done when I'm at the studio or that task has to get done at home. <sighs> This is bad. I mean, it's not bad. Maybe this would work really well for somebody who doesn't calendar block in the way that I do. Oh, this makes me want to get a friend to use this. Ah! Right, these things are not happening today because this one is not ready. Wait, hold on. Okay, is motion onto something here? If I prep this video, can I, depending on how quick I get these other things done, can I film my two videos this afternoon? whilst I'm at the studio and just like smash out more stuff. Can I? Is motion actually onto something here? We're gonna see how this week goes with being like, as I click, like this is done. And then seeing how it moves around. Because like, yeah, I manually move things around all of the time. And so it will be interesting to see how the AI moves things around as the week progresses and as tasks get done. I'm clearly very set in my ways, but yeah, let's see how this goes. But for now we can, da 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 da, complete task. Oh, it disappeared. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. Do you know what? I want to un, un, how do I unmanual this? Oh, wow. Start task. Ah! Does that do time tracking as well then? So it knows exactly what, mm. right. I just want to re-add these in and instead of like manually doing them. There it is. There is my week. Motion AI wants me after this to record the money VOs. I'm not going to do that because I need to review the money mix first in case there's any more other bits that I need to re-record. <laughs> Sorry, Motion, you've already got one thing wrong. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to start this task. There we go. So it's moved some bits around. Right, there we go. I'll check in with you throughout the week, hopefully. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> 
Okay, so I could be persuaded by this AI motion calendar situation because there are a few features that I quite like, that it's it's useful, you know, especially the kind of like when things change and then instead of me manually then going through and changing it all, it just kind of like figures it out automatically. However, I still have some gripes. So I discovered that there is a show completed tasks toggle because that was bothering me because when I completed a task, it disappeared from the calendar. And I like to see what I have done. And then I went to click play, like start task on the next thing, which is prepping this sex ed video. And I accidentally clicked complete instead, which was then how I found that you could show completed tasks, but I can't edit the completed task. So now it's really bothering me because it's just stuck there. Like I'm trying to click on it, like anything that's already been completed. I can't move it. I can't edit it. It's just like frozen and stuck in place. And like, maybe this is unnecessary because it's like it's already completed like why do you need to like be able to move it to satisfy my brain so that I can see when it actually got done <sighs> it's really bothering me it's stuck there it's stuck there completed in the future how can I have completed it when it hasn't even happened yet let me edit it but I can't edit it so through a combination of working through lunch and a few tasks taking a lot less time than I was expecting, I think I'm going to be able to do what motion suggests that I do. I'm following the AI, which is film these two videos that I was planning on filming Wednesday morning, but I'm here in the studio. I have got da, 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 like two hours. So it is very, very possible. So am I liking this? Is this good? I feel good because I'm like, I'm getting like things done earlier than I was expecting. Oh, thanks to an AI calendar blocking thing. <sighs> but it does frustrate me. There are a lot of things about it, but still, right, let's go. Let's, let's go film a video. The only problem is that because I wasn't planning on filming today, I didn't bring an extra outfit, but I do have a t-shirt on underneath this jumper and I have had the heating on in the studio. So hopefully it won't be too cold taking off the jumper to film other videos. But yeah, right, let's do this. Let's do this. We have a problem. <laughs> no! I don't have my iPad with me, which is what I use. I put my iPad here and that's where my script goes. And that's how I know what I'm saying. But it's at home because I brought my iPad home last week because I'm going to need my iPad out and about with me tomorrow. And I wasn't originally going to be planning to be in the studio today. I'm just going to have to use my phone, like balance my phone here and read the script this way, which is less convenient but it's doable. Ah. This is a thing, like an AI thing, organize my calendar and my to-do list and everything that I need to do. It needs more information than I am bothered to give it, but also it's not even asking me for that information. So like things like the location, what equipment do I need in order to actually complete that task? Does another task need to be completed first? It's not asking me for any of that information. All of that information is in my brain. I know it. If it asked me, I would tell it, but it's not asking me. So the information just stays in my brain. Let's, let's film these videos. We can do it. Okay. One down, one to go. That one took a lot longer than I was expecting, but I think we're still good for time. So that's fun. Changing clothes. Okay. We can do it. We can do it. I did it. I filmed both videos with plenty of time to spare to pump and also just do some emails and reply to some messages that have come in as well. So that's really good. And that has like changed the rest of my week. I also figured out how to edit the recurring lunch thing. So it had been set to put it in for 30 minutes anywhere between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. No, I've now set it so that it's one hour anywhere between 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. because that's way more realistic when I eat lunch. But obviously today I didn't take any time for lunch because I was working through lunch. But then I managed to get so much stuff done. Oh, anyway, we'll see. I know that I definitely like front load my weeks. I love having a really productive like Monday, Tuesday and then the Wednesday, Thursday being a lot more like wiggle room. Here we go. This is tomorrow. So annoying that it doesn't let me set this as free time 
and do the travel at the same time, the same way that this beauty is. But yeah, it's looking good. It's broken up parenting selects in this really weird way where I've got like an hour and a half chunk here and then 30 minutes there, but we'll see. Parenting selects is something that I have until the end of this week to do. So there's flexibility. This is not gonna work because I'm gonna need to be at my computer to do those captions, but Rowan will be in the studio filming. So we may have to move some things around, but that's fine. Good morning. Working from home today and I have makeup on because of the interview slash photo shoot this afternoon and I just felt like having a little bit on. But I'm just going to continue following what motion is telling me to do. But I've been able to manipulate it with the information that I give it in terms of like when I'm able to start a task, when it's due and the priority. So if I like actually get that stuff right, then it so far is like serving it up to me in the order in which I would want to do things. So that kind of makes sense. But then it's like, what work is this thing actually doing for me? The other thing that it's kind of doing is like splitting up tasks randomly. I feel like maybe it's giving me a break but I don't know what the logic is to it or if there's a setting for that. Like don't work more than two and a half hours in a row and then like have a little break in. I don't know. So here today, da, 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 it's split up doing V2 money episode feedback. And I don't know why, but I, I'm just going to try and power through that whole thing in one go. But yes, right now I need to do feedback on the second version of a video that just came in. So let's crack on with that. So I managed to get all of the work that I was meant to do today done this morning and the photo shoot that I've now just done took way less time than expected. So now I'm heading home with an empty afternoon, although I'm going to see what motion suggests that I tackle. And then I'm also thinking, cause everything has kind of been done a lot earlier than expected this week, I might add into motion all of my tasks for next week and see what it would suggest if there's anything that I could possibly tackle this week or because I'm feeling a bit rotten could just sit on the sofa all afternoon <laughs> I've got a little of my gold let's see what this AI reckons I should do and then me human Hannah will decide whether or not I do it I'm home. I've put on comfy clothes. I feel <laughs> awful. I've been feeling crap all day, but I've been powering through and now it's just hit me. <laughs> I've added in to motion all of my tasks for next week as well. And it's actually telling me to do one of my tasks that I hadn't scheduled in for myself until like a week tomorrow to do right now which I could, I might, I don't know. It's a really easy thing to do. It's like not hard work. <coughs> I need to pump and I've got like two hours until I need to go and get Rowan. Do I just relax and recoup? Because I have to parent this evening. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Okay, so it's the final day of using Motion to calendar block my week and tell me what tasks I need to do when. I'm at home this morning because Rowan no longer needed to use the studio and everything that I need to get done can just get done on my laptop. I don't need the studio today, so I'm here and I'm also still feeling a bit rotten. Yesterday, I sacked off work. I took some paracetamol and I just sat on the sofa and watched TV. It was, it was needed. It was needed. So there's one main thing that I need to get done today that is going to take up the majority of my time. And I'm not actually sure how long it's going to take me. I actually reckon it's going to take me somewhere between like two and four hours, which is a big task that broken up around breaks and lunch and stuff is going to probably be the majority of my day. However, Motion only thinks it's going to take me two hours because that's what I put in. But since looking at actually what I need to do, I'm like, mm, no, this is going to take longer. So we're just going to start with that. Even though Motion wants me to start by prepping some videos that we're filming next week but I'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna do that motion because I want to do that Monday the day before we film so that it's all fresh and one of those videos that I need to prep is this one so actually mm, that's my problem that's my bad not motions I need to tell it that the start date is Monday that I can't actually do that today but then again like what is it doing for me if I'm just telling it everything anyway it's fine ah oh, it's fine okay so we're just gonna crack on with doing the selects for the parenting which is the final episode of this podcast series normally it takes me about two hours when we have like three to four guests to go through but there are one two three four five six seven eight eight there's 
eight different interviews to go through for this one. Anyway, okay, so I'm gonna crack on with this. I'm still feeling a bit rubbish. I might end up working on the sofa. And my plan is just to get through all of this today. Because I'm feeling a bit rubbish, it probably will also take me longer. If I get this done, that is a win. Motion has something else that it wants me to do this afternoon because it thinks I have time. Maybe I do, maybe I don't, we'll see. Okay, so it is the end of my working week and I have to say I will not be paying beyond this free trial so I need to <laughs> cancel <laughs> my free trial of motion but I thought I would compare what my calendar and motions calendar have in store for me for the following week after having had like a full full week <laughs> of work where things have had to move around because I've been ill and like yeah other things have had to be shifted obviously as we've gone. One thing I will say I do like about it is like that automatic shifting of things because oftentimes like yeah when we have to rearrange things I'm then like manually in the calendar like moving everything but you also like having that control. Anyway let's see what is going on here because immediately the first thing that I see here is that the way that motion has organized my week I'm finishing work at 10 30 a.m on Thursday whereas the way that I've got it I'm finishing normal time end of the week so what is going on here how have they done that what is going on oh wait no <laughs> how am I missing something oh I know what I'm missing I've hold motion that editing so how is that for you is going to take an hour for each of them whereas in my calendar I've got them in two hours each. That's why I'm not going mad. Okay, so we just add an extra two hours. That still means that I'm like technically finishing at 12.30 on Thursday if we add those extra two hours in. But I have myself finishing at three o'clock on Wednesday and they've got me going to four. So maybe it all matches out. But for the most part, my Monday morning looks the same. So like prepping videos and recording the newsletter voiceover are kind of like up there. Edit doing it captions is also there on the Monday. The only difference is this like Patreon addresses and reviewing set ed video. I don't think I'm gonna be able to review that until Tuesday afternoon. I'm not sure, it depends when Mia does it, then I'll do mine after her. So I'm just like, whenever. So the other thing that it doesn't know is that in order to record the voiceovers for the porn episode of the podcast, I need to be in the studio and I'm gonna be in the studio on filming day, on the Tuesday. And so that's why I I have record porn videos that afternoon and not following morning like motion does but I still haven't figured out how to tell it to like organize tasks based on location. The only way that I could tell it exactly when do it, like, oh, it's happening this day, is if I put the start date and the end date, like the deadline for it on that day. Whereas what I've done is I've given it the start date at the beginning of the week and the deadline is technically the end of the week. But I know that it's gonna happen on Tuesday because the location. And it would just be really handy if that was information that I could give this AI tool. I also know that for me, doing something like the structure and scripting of an episode, like for the parenting one, that is something that I need to do in the morning because the brain power required for that is a morning task. How do I tell the AI that as well? Basically what I'm saying is, is that I'm gonna be following my own calendar <laughs> and my own to-do list and my own system next week. There are like snippets of things that I really like about this, but it just doesn't do everything that I need it to do. I would be curious how a tool like this works for folks who aren't on board with calendar blocking, who are maybe a bit more disorganized than I am and maybe need that extra help prioritizing their tasks and organizing their week. I would be genuinely curious to hear if like this is a tool that helps you, but it's just not powerful enough for it to be useful for me. I am more powerful. Me! <laughs> well, there you have it. An AI attempted to calendar block my week for me and failed sort of. Thank you so much for watching and thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Don't forget you can go to squarespace.com to start your free trial and then when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com forward slash morehanna to get 10% off your first part of a website or domain. All right, please do let me know if there's any other like interesting productivity software that you would like me to try because I'm curious as to what is out there especially with all of this AI stuff that I barely understand. Maybe there are ways to improve my workflow. Maybe not. Maybe we can all just chill out a bit. <laughs>
Alright, bye!